on the big screen and on the bikey bike. So it's loading. So as you can see, they did clean up their stuff and I got a brand new bike. Now the thing is, I'm 4'9", so it's kind of like a little above my hip, but I could use a stool or something. It's okay. So this is them still setting it up. They got to come back. I think they're missing a piece, though. So it is currently 8.20. Um, my delivery time is set from 8 to 11 a.m. Um, so they got here at, I don't know, I guess 8 o'clock. So that's pretty good. And then, you know, they only took 20 minutes to set up. So it's pretty good. Now, me, I got the uh, the rental option. Because I'm... I, I ain't got money to pay for this bike. So I, I did the rental option, which uh was $89 each month. It's $89. It cost $150 to uh $150 to rent it. Okay. And that's a one-time fee. Um, and then the shoes were free. So I I was like, okay. Food. I got $150. <laughs> there you go. But what I don't got is 2000 so you can have the 150 Okay, so as you know, I got the bike delivered. Um, I got the bike delivered on August 26th, and it was from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., and uh, they were on time. They were punctual. They were nice. Uh, it was two, um, and it was pretty cool, like no problems at all they spoke english one spoke english and one didn't speak english so which is fine with me i don't i'm not a discriminator i'm not one of them people that be like oh no da, da, da. you know whatever so um they set the bike up and everything and when they left i set up my account which you know is not hard you put in your email your name all that kind of stuff um they set up the uh, internet and everything before they left so that was pretty cool um what else i was gonna say now here's where the issue lies the issue lies in the shoes if your feet are wide you might as well just get a size 11 at this point because these shoes when i tell you I got a size nine and I normally wear a eight, eight and a half, two or nine and regular shoes. These shoes wasn't giving me no hope. Okay. They were like, nah, mama, we not finna do that with you. And it was tight in the top. So I was just like, yeah, I already know. I'm not finna get through with these shoes. So, uh, when was it? So the same day after they left because they don't take back issues um they only you know drop off the bike and that's it so after they left i contacted customer service and i was like hey you know i need a new pair of shoes um i got a nine but maybe i need a 10 we'll go with a 10. so they was telling me how you know i've just had to print out a slip and then go ahead and put it on the box that i had and return it now my thing is what if i would have thrown the box away which, I mean, that would have been a little quick. But still, like, what if we're able to throw the box away? So now I would have had to buy a whole new brand box. Brand new box to put the shoes in. So whatever, whatever case. So I said, okay, no problem. So, uh, I returned them on... I got a, I got a paper right here. I returned them on, uh, hmm, hmm. April 29th, and that's only because I had work and I had I had things to do. So April 29th, I returned them, and May 7th is when my size 10 came. So these are the size 10. As you can see, they they fit, but they just I don't know. It's just something with the closing that ain't easy with the closing part. So it is what it is. It wasn't a con or nothing like that. It just was an issue for me. So onto the actual bike um first thing that i really really noticed that i thought was going to get better because the day before i got the bike i did purchase a replacement seat like i mean not a seat but a cover um this is the cover that i bought 
from Amazon. Uh, it wasn't, it didn't cost a lot. I forgot if it was like twenty dollars. I forgot. I'll, I'll put it in here. I think it was twenty dollars. So I bought that, and um, I'm like, okay, no problem. When the bike come, I'm be, I'm be riding. I sat on that bike. I put my cover on that bike. And do you know that it ain't no joke? It's not a joke. Unless you got buns of steel, you you really need to put on biking pads. Like the I heard you can wear the biking shorts. You need to buy a pair of those. You need to buy a cover. You need to buy a whole new seat or something. I just could not take it. Like the pain was just it was bad. It was really bad. Now, standing up on the bike was fine. You know, standing up on a bike. But you want to be able to sit down and experience, you know, the ride. It's a bike. You want to sit down. You know, you don't want to just stand up and pedal and pedal and pedal. Like, no, I wanted to experience the whole situation. So, I had 30 days to return it. I could have returned it. Um... You know, with no problems, which I still can't return it, which I, I I think at the end of this month, I think I am going to go ahead and return it. Um, nothing against Peloton, but I just can't, I can't do it. Um, but the pros, let's talk about those, okay? One pro that I loved, I mean loved, was that you can ride in any state city all over the world basically like this trip was a five minute london um bridge um a five minute london bridge ride in addition to the london bridge ride we can go to Puerto Rico. And that's just a sample. And on to that, you can also do classes. Like they do have some classes too. Here's an example of the classes. So you see, you could do a lot on this bike. Um, in addition to that, they have, you know, uh, weight holders in the back. Um, you have a water bottle holder in the front. Um, and I personally, I replaced my, um, the, I got the uh, pedal replacement because my shoes wouldn't snap in. The size 10s wouldn't snap in. The size 9s did. The size 10, it was like a headache trying to snap them shoes in. So I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this. So, um, and I didn't like the feel of them either. I didn't like, I just didn't like it. So I just got the pedal replacements. These are the replacements that I have. And when I say I can ride with the shoes, I be going there with my sneakers, with my slippers. I be doing the most, okay? Times. Every time my butt hurt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. So like I said, if you're going to do this and you're going to be dedicated to it, get biker pads, butt pads, a new, like new seat, something like something that's going to take the pressure off because it's going to hurt to where you be like, nah, I'm, I'm cool. I don't even want to do that today. Let me just go outside and walk around or let me just do the steps because it's, I don't know. But a lot of people love Peloton, which I can see why. Because, like I said, it's a, very, it's a very nice experience. For you to be able to go all around the world and ride a bike. And you're just in your living room. That's amazing. Plus, it comes, like I said, with that big screen. And it comes with classes, with music. As far as cons go, like I said, the, the only thing was the seat. And then sometimes snapping the, the shoes in. That is just the most tedious thing, I swear. Snapping your shoes in is no joke. 
snapping them out, you might get stuck as well. I hear a lot of people say that. Um, before I bought my bike, I heard a lot of people say that. But at the end of the day, we get through it, okay? So, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, you can subscribe to the channel. More videos coming. And thank you. Bye.